Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my first video of 2019. I can't believe it's here already. Um, I hope you all had a great week between Christmas and New Year's. I really enjoyed the break after Vlogmas, um, but I'll leave a link to the playlist down below in case there are any Vlogmas videos that you want to catch up on. So I thought I would kick off 2019 by doing one of the videos that you guys seem to enjoy watching the most, which is a product review. And the product that I will be reviewing is this. Oh my god, you can see the reflection of my whole room in it. So so this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette Volume 4. It is a limited edition palette that they came out with for this holiday season and basically I saw Alana Davison using it and I immediately fell in love with it and really wanted to test it out for myself. So this was actually a Christmas gift for me, but I'm going to be showing you exactly how to use it, um, what all of these different shades are and whether or not I think it's worth the $80 price tag. Yeah. 80 bucks for this. Really quickly before I dive into this product review, there are a few changes that I wanted to update you on. So first of all, you may have seen there's a new banner on my YouTube channel, um, some new channel art for you all. And on that banner, it says that I will be making new videos that'll come out every Monday and every Friday. And that is in fact true, and I'm very excited about that. So if you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe so that you never miss a video. Um, I have tons of beauty videos and other product reviews, so if you're curious about any of those, um, definitely go check them out. And in the meantime, let's talk about the Hourglass palette. Let's get into the review, and let's start off with the packaging. So one of the things that I love about Hourglass, sorry, I think it's gonna be really distracting that you can see my room in it, but anyway, one of the things that I love about them is their product design. I think they're all really beautiful. This is my first Hourglass product product that I've owned, so I've basically just admired it from afar. And then once you open the palette, you can see, obviously, it has a mirror, um, which I will do this just for distraction purposes, but it comes with six shades. So four of them are four of their best-selling shades, and then two of them are limited edition shades, actually, for this palette. I'm almost positive it's these two, um, and that these four are some of their best-selling shades. These first two shades here are both finishing powders, and they have a strobe powder up here, and then down below this is a bronzer, this is a blush, and then this is a strobe blush. So these kind of more pearly iridescent shades down below are kind of meant more for blending and stuff, and then the two finishing powders up there are meant just to be like a translucent powder that you would normally use. Let me go ahead and swatch these for you now. How does Kylie Jenner not scratch herself every time she does this? Like I have like normal nails and I've already scratched myself once so I can't even imagine with her nails. Okay, so in order of how this goes, so from this shade down to this shade, um, these are the swatches, and upon first impressions, I'm actually really in love with all of the colors that are in here. So the great thing about this palette that kind of bothers me about other highlight contour palettes is that sometimes I feel like you can't use all of the shades in it, but with this palette, um, if you actually watch the how-to video that Hourglass has on their website, there is actually a way to utilize pretty much every shade for a look that you want to do. It just depends on how intensely shimmery you would like a look to be. For example, I tend to use a more matte bronzer um, or contour, but I could possibly go for a more sparkly blush, and obviously I always want a more sparkly highlighter. Another thing to note is that this is a great palette for a nighttime look. For daytime, it's probably a little bit too much. These powders are actually made with Hourglass's photoluminescent technology, which basically means that it's almost like the look of tiny little crushed diamonds on the skin, which gives off a super shimmery, really beautiful, glowy effect. But if you're just like, running errands every day or doing something kind of casual, you probably don't need that much of a glow, but it would be great for any nighttime events, um, anything where you want to do a little something extra. It's really great, I think, for on camera as well. You'll see once I put it on how it kind of catches and reflects the light and everything. So yeah, definitely very into this shade range. One thing I will say about it, and one thing I noticed when reading some of the comments and reviews on Sephora, is that this probably isn't a great product for darker skin types, which I know is so annoying to say and even here, um, but the colors are really subtle on me even, and I don't know how well they would show up on a deeper skin tone. So just something to keep in mind if you're trying to figure out whether or not this is a good palette for you. Now that I've gone ahead and swatched these shades and kind of talked you through them, I'm gonna go and apply it onto my face now. So on my face right now is my primer foundation, 
eyeshadow, mascara, and brows. I haven't done any other face products yet, so that's where this is obviously going to come in. They kind of want you to use the products in this order. So these are the finishing powders, as I mentioned, so you can kind of pick whichever one you want. This one's probably better for brightening. This one might just be good to give kind of a translucent once over if you want that really bronzed, glowy look. And then you move on to this shade right here, the filtered bronze light shade, and they want you to apply that basically as a contour bronzer how you normally would. And then for your blush over here, you can also add in a little bit of this to really bring out some sparkle. And then this is the highlight that you would normally use to go over here, here, the high points of your face, Cupid's bow, and all of that. So let me start applying this and see how it goes. All right, so I've zoomed you guys in a little bit more so we can get a closer look at what we're doing. And also I'm using studio lights right now, so not natural light, but just something to keep in mind for how the product is reflecting or showing up on my skin. So what I think I'm going to do is take this large angled brush and go in with this shade here and kind of just put it all over my face almost as a finishing powder. This is actually a great mirror on this palette because it takes up the entirety of the palette itself, uh, which I really like about it. I'm not actually in love with the shade that I'm using right now just because I feel like it's bringing a lot of attention to some spots that I have. It's a little more shimmery and I think for just some of the breakouts that I have a little less matte so something to keep in mind if you are having a rough day with your skin. Next I'm gonna go in with the bronze shade down here and basically apply it the way I would normally apply my contour and I'll be using a duo fiber brush to do that. Ooh, okay, I like how that's showing up on the skin. Um, I feel like it's not too intense. I probably put a lot on my brush to start, and obviously I didn't clean my brush before I did this, so who knows if there's some stuff from my Makeup Forever contour palette, but... Another trick you can do with the finishing powder from this palette is to kind of go back over if you accidentally apply your bronzer or contour too intensely, you can kind of use it to tone that color down. Alright, I won't lie you guys, I was skeptical about this kind of more shimmery bronzer and contour situation, but I love how it's turning up. So even though I proclaimed earlier in this video that I am more of a matte bronzer and contour girl on the whole. I have to say, I love the look of this on my skin. It still actually doesn't look too shimmery. I was worried about the shine being so intense that it was distracting and that my whole face was gonna look a little unbalanced in terms of the shine to matte ratio. It's kind of the perfect combination of that matte bronze look while still having dewy skin because nothing drives me nuts more than when skin is just like completely matted down. I think you do need a little bit of balance and the way that applied was just so nice. So I'm really, really feeling that right now. So I think depending on your mood, you can pick and choose which blush color you're feeling. But for purposes of this video, I kind of want to try a little bit of both. I'm going to put this one up a little bit higher, kind of a mix between where I would apply the highlight and the blush. And then I'll focus this one a little bit more on the apples of my cheeks. That wasn't as horrifyingly pink as I thought it was gonna be. That's always my greatest fear, is that I'm gonna come out of this looking like an actual doll with painted on circles on my cheeks, and that's not what happened at all. Again, this is really subtle and shimmery, but you could build it up if you'd like to. Now I'm gonna go in with this uh, shade over here. So here's what it looks like now. I just put a little bit on the brush and applied it directly to the apples of my cheeks. This is a little too pink for my taste, and if you do have slightly darker skin, I think that is a shade from this palette that would suit your skin much better than mine. Anything like from olive to darker than that, I think would be really nice on me. I think it looks slightly too intense, but I will just dip back into my finishing powder again to tone that down a tiny bit. So the last shade I'm going to dip into is the highlight up here, and I'm going to be using this Morphe R13 brush to apply it. This is probably one of the most luxurious highlights that I have ever seen or used in my whole life. Here's an up-close look of my finished face using the Hourglass palette. What do you guys think? I'm really impressed with the quality of the palette. Um, I think that 
in terms of how it fits into my makeup collection, I would definitely reach for this on nights out. And I think I could even just mix it with some other products that I already have. But it's nice that they kind of thought it through in the sense that you can package everything together into these six shades. And I've zoomed you guys back out a little bit to share some final thoughts on this palette. So first of all, is it worth it? Like, let's talk about that $80 price tag. Here's the thing. You can purchase their minis. They're little, like, just one shade. I'm looking at it right now in Sephora. $22 for the lighting powder mini, which is just one shade in a compact. And if that's $22 and you want to buy six shades, which is what this palette is, that brings you to $132. So is it worth it to have the $80 palette? Possibly, yeah. Um, I think that this is definitely something that had my mom not gotten it for me for Christmas, I probably would have splurged on for myself just because I thought it was so beautiful. It's limited edition, um, so if this palette isn't available by the time you watch this video, check out their Unlocked palette, and I'll link some similar ones down below in case you want to kind of shop for something similar. But to be honest, I wasn't expecting to be this blown away by the quality of it, so in that case, I actually do think it's worth it. A few other things to keep in mind are if you are someone who likes to do a super glowy or dewy look, especially for nighttime. If you're more matte or you just use a cream highlighter during the day, probably not a good use of your money to buy this. I'm really happy that the bronze shade, even though it has that glow coming from underneath it, it's not outwardly shimmery like the highlight that you can tell the difference just by looking at an up close of my skin, which I really appreciate. I think this would be a great palette to bring with me when I'm traveling places because I can have finishing powder, bronzer, contour, blush, all in one. Definitely something that I see as a plus for myself. So Hourglass, overall I am very impressed with this palette. Um, the only other thing that I might use with it is my Laura Mercier uh, translucent setting powder. That has a little bit more of a matte coverage for spots where I have breakouts, but even this one did a pretty good job with it. I need to stop waving this around because it's really like reflecting off the light, probably driving you guys nuts. So I will leave this video here. Let me know what you thought. Have you tried any other Hourglass palettes? I'm really interested in the Vanish Stick foundation. Um, there's a couple of other little bits that I would be curious to try from them. So if you have any requests for anything, leave it in the comments down below and maybe I'll film a future review on it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have a friend who's been curious about this product, uh, feel free to send this to them. Hopefully it'll give them a little bit more insight into what exactly they would be spending their money on. And yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. So good to be back for 2019. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Excited to have you here and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you guys again soon. Bye!